Have you ever wondered what one of your old builds would look like if you rebuilt it today? Well, that's what I'm doing today for my good friend, Dana. She redeemed an empire in my Twitch stream, and today we're going to be building that for her. It's going to be absolutely sick, and I can't wait for you guys to see the video. Enjoy. Let's go. I know what time it is. It's that block game time. Today, dudes, we are going to be starting the new project. We're going to be starting Dana's empire. I'm going to show you guys what that's going to be in a bit. You got to give me a minute. So let's get straight to it, dudes. Uh, so as you know, uh, with every new project, we kind of have to find an area first. I think it's time to uh, actually show you guys what we're going to be doing for the next build. Um, Mr. Lime Cookie made something a little fancy for us, chat. Uh, let's talk about the next uh, empire here. So flying on over here, chat. Uh, this is kind of the area that uh we have picked off in the next build well yeah chad this will be the spot right here for the next build and uh i'm about to tell you what it's about We are going to be making a giant ravine with red, red fog in the bottom. Uh, and it's going to be in a steampunk style with a bunch of houses hanging off the ravine and stuff. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be so sick. So for context in that video, you guys saw like it cut to like a, old, a older build of mine. So I'm taking one of my old builds that I've done in the past. And I'm just making it on a, I'm rebuilding, basically I'm essentially rebuilding it, making it on a way bigger scale, and it's going to be sick. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing, dudes. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of things that we have to do before we can get started, though. Um, I want to connect up some paths and stuff. You know, I like my paths. Um, so it's actually very close to the Japanese city. I'm going to have two paths. I'm going to have a path that comes from this side, going through here, and then... Also disconnected up through this way. Um, we're going to turn this river into a ravine. As well as have like a uh, a bridge go in between it and stuff. Uh, there's so much stuff that we're going to be doing here. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be super, super cool. Lots and lots of stuff are going to be going on over here, chat. We're going to have to dig a little bit of a mini perimeter. So that's going to be that's going to be interesting. But we should be safe with our beacons that we, ha our beacons that, that we have around us. But we won't be safe while we're chopping down the trees towards the path. We still have this mess to clean up. But listen, this will have to be a later me problem. <laughs> listen, that's, I'm not dealing with that shit. <laughs> that. Listen, we'll, 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 do that, we'll deal with that later. That's a later me problem. Uh, all right. We need to start clearing some trees and stuff like that. So I want to make another entrance to, like I said, I want to make another entrance to the city here so we we have a path connecting up a bunch of belts on this side but i want two ways you can get there and i want a way to get, to get there from over here as well we're gonna connect up this path to here let's we'll see how this goes so here we're gonna start turning out some trees so for those who do not know much about my hardcore world here uh i have most of my belts connected up most of them connected up via path so it just adds that next like another level of immersion to my world being able to walk from build to build is like via path is just such a wonderful feeling so clearing out these streets making space for these paths uh might to some people might feel like i'm taking too much time on them but for me personally i super, i really love it as you can see here we're about to connect up on from the other side uh, connected up from the other side, but we did get a little bit distracted. Definitely forgot about these boys here. <laughs> this is a while ago. Uh, you guys can't really be here anymore. Uh, clean this up a little bit, maybe. Hold on. So obviously I can't kill him. Why is there a trap door here? Hello. Um, can't kill it. 
Put on our chest plate. Alright, alright, step one. Step one is complete. Okay. Sir! 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 Sir, I'm gonna need you... You kinda shot me a few couple times here. I'm gonna need you to, uh, come this way, please. Uh, out of the water. Uh, please. There we go, there we go, there we go. And my favorite way to deal with these things. Way too easy. Alright, there we go. Gone forever. Alright. Minecraft is definitely the game of distractions. That's for sure. Anyways. Let's get right back into it. So, we started up putting out some more trees here. Uh, and just getting ready and stuff. But after we finished that, we needed to get some resources. So, we started to collect some basalt. As well as some deep slate. Uh, we used the TNT method here. To collect it. Uh, it was very fun. Anyways, we wanted to continue this kind of the same pattern that we had before. So, as I said, deep slate and basalt. This looks so, so good together. So we went with that combo. And we just started going and started placing our blocks. Now that the trees are gone, we could just easily get this path going through. Looking hella nice. As we finished the other side, we came back to the city side. Connecting it up through here as well. And it was just nothing but vibes. I really, really enjoy doing paths. Something about them is just super relaxing. I, I, guess, I guess Minecraft in general is just a relaxing thing to do. We did end up finding a friend here. This is Pearl. While we were doing the paths. But yeah, we had an awesome time. Like I said earlier, Minecraft is a definitely a game of distractions. While we were doing the path there, uh, we did end up doing a little bit of an axolotl race. Here it is. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to take a little break from the, uh, the path making to do this. Uh, we'd like to call this an axolotl race. Uh, so for the people who were at the premiere for the last YouTube video... Got the chance to, uh, is getting a chance to do an axolotl race and potentially get a, uh, potentially get a spot in the last build. Yo. So here are your contestants. We're going to draw two names out of this. Two people who we get are going to be the ones who are racing as axolotls. Here we go. Who's going to be the first contestant? Finn, it is you, dude. As you, I mean, uh, love to see it. Welcome in. The second contestant. The second contestant is gonna be. Um. So. <laughs> Uh, electric, uh, I'm gonna need the paperback, buddy. Um, hold on. I know, you know what he loves? He loves cookies. We're gonna give him some cookies, dude. Electric, dude. Actually taking and yoinking the answer, dude. I'm gonna need that, bud. There we go. And it's Dana. Finn versus Dana, chat. Don't you let us see it. Don't you let us see it. Don't you let us see it. All right, so we're gonna get this going, then. Dana and Finn, dude, we could do that. So the Axolotl racing area is below the is below the Massa Fergoda. So we're gonna go right there right now and we're gonna do that. Right below the blue boy is the Axolotl Racing Arena. Alright, let's turn this off real quick. Imagine Dana gets to be in the Cloud Empire. And yeah, and and we're doing Dana's build right now. Imagine. All right. So how these axolotl races work, chat? For those who don't know, it is uh, actually a lot simpler than you think. Um, we have two axolotls ready to race, 
and they're all racing to kill a tropical fish. The first one to kill the tropical fish wins, dude. That is the goal of this race here. So we got uh, Finn on the left side. We got Dana on the right. Who's going to win? Let's find out, chat. Let's do our thing. Where's the button? Oh, I mean lever. Yep, I, I, Finn was right. Dana just absolutely rolled Finn. Damn. Ayo, hey, bug you, dude. Dana, you get to be in the, the, uh, the cloud build, dude. Hell yeah. Ouch. Oh, God. All right, this is uh, done through the armor stand data pack. Here is Dana. Dana's chilling on one of the, the custom trees here. Um, Now Dana's in the world. Funny enough, we're doing her build next, so... Uh, I I mean that's pretty awesome I think doing her build so let's go back excellent work chat that um so we did indeed finish path here yeah both paths finished up uh we also did a little bit of decorating with some flowers and some mushrooms and stuff going all through it this leads all the way through here and it all leads up to the new project site for Dana's uh, empire that we're gonna be doing. Um, looking really, really sick. Um, but yeah, we did also did get a new friend. Hi, friend. Probably right here for now. What a spot to teleport to, hey? Hello. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta do some digging and 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 mining out this out. So we're gonna do a couple things here, chat. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that we have. Everything here the way I want it to be. Um, we're going to get rid of the water. And then we're going to start our little mini perimeter. Uh, I think. I don't know how long this is going to take us. But uh, I, I think we might go down to deep slate level. I don't know how deep I want to go yet. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an absolute grind. So um, we got this. <laughs> Meow. The thing is done! We just did a 13 and a half hour stream just to finish the dig. It's done! It's done, dude! Look at it! Oh, bro, I had no life this for the past, like, nine days straight. Oh, my lord. Look at the amount of diamonds we got, chat. God damn. Place these diamonds down as, uh... I'm gonna place down these diamonds real quick, chat. Surely these diamonds don't take too long to place. 
Look at the amount of diamonds that we got from the dig chat. That's a lot. We're going to mine this down eventually, but uh, we'll do that tomorrow, I think. But uh, the dig is finished. I'm so, so happy with it, man. Holy. What are some of the stuff? We got a lot of materials from this dude chat. A lot, a lot. Let me put some of this away. Look at all of this. Yeah, lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of materials here, chat, from the dig. All these chests full. Use multiple pickaxes. We broke two. Uh, but, uh, I can't believe it's done. Uh, only took us nine IRL days. Of eight, eight to ten hour streams, bro. This is, I know life this. I, ah, oh, bro, I'm tired. Yo, huh? This, this is crazy. We'll get back to this tomorrow, dudes. And we'll get started on the resource collecting, I think. Which will be the next step, I think. Lord. We did a 14-hour stream, essentially, yesterday. Uh, and we, we we got the business, bro. Oh, my Lord. So, here's the dig that we've been working on for the past nine days or so. It's done. It's complete. Um, I dug this all the way down to level 5, which is just about, like... Where deep say gets just get really thick. Just before it gets really thick. We're gonna we have a bunch of new stuff that we gotta do here, but it's actually why it's sitting in down here. I kinda finished the dig and then left, but like actually appreciating it, like this is massive, like I actually know life with this dig at all. Holy shit. We got some serious resource collecting to do chat. We got a bunch of sand to collect. We got a bunch of Ew. We got a bunch of sand to collect. We have a bunch of glass to collect uh, via trading as well. Uh, a bunch of other materials as well. We're going to focus on the glass first because that's gonna, probably going to be the most grindy. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how much glass I actually need, but we're just going to get a bunch and hopefully it goes, goes pretty well. Alrighty, chat. Uh, I think we're ready to go. We collected quite a bit of materials. Um, we got a lot of glass going from the trading. And sand collecting, we dyed some of it. We have some leftover glass over here just in case we don't have enough for the fog effect at the bottom. Uh, got some concrete in there. I have some blackstone, have some mud. Uh, deep slate, basalt, coal. I'm gonna do a gradient on the walls for the. We got the, uh, we got the gradient going from bottom to the top. It's going pretty good. That's what we're going to use for the walls and stuff. So, first things first, when it comes to this, uh, we have to sort out how we want to do the wall. So, I'm basically going to have it almost directly up against the wall to start. Ah, first block! Oh, incredible! All right, anyways. So, we're going to be doing a gradient, right? Going from black stone all the way up until stone. Blending all these blocks together to make it like nice and smooth. It's important to remember when going from one block to another block, if it's a little bit more of a rougher transition, you might want to mix the blocks a little bit more so it blends a little bit better. Uh, but it's still green that we went with. And we went this, did this for the walls, and I think it turned out really nice. Now, on the back side of the walls, we did end up bomb proofing it as best as I could anyway, and we brought. We terraformed a little bit over with some dirt and some grass, just to so there's no random gap in between. And it turned out absolutely amazing. I think I think the gradient looks really really cool right now. It's turning out sick. Uh, so we're just getting ready here to start up the fog effect at the bottom. I wanted to mine out one more layer at least before we get started on it. We finished mining that layer. After we finished mining the layer, we started getting some frog light action going. I kept running out, so I had to keep getting more. Before we continue, I would like to show you something I thought was really cool. And then we'll get back to it. Hold. Hold, hold. Chat, if y'all haven't, if y'all are not in the Discord and y'all haven't seen this already, bro, actually stun locked. Actually stun locked. Like, hold up. Y'all need to see what Llama made. This is the best piece of fan art I've ever received. That's the city of Enchantail right behind me, dude. I'm just falling back. Look, I'm just, I'm just bobbing. I'm just, this is so sick. 
This is incredible. Local Llama is an uh, absolute king, dude. Like, he killed this. I, I, best piece of fan I've ever gotten. I, I, this is wild. Actually wild, actually wild. After that, we got right back into it. We started placing carpets on top of the frog legs to cover it up. And this is probably the most painful part of it. Because anything that's not a full block is always super annoying, annoying to place. Anyways, we started going with these crimson wood on the wall. Kind of to simulate it looking like it's crawling out of the fog effect. Which I think would look really, really cool. Then we started doing the actual fog effect itself. I layered red glass and then black glass over and over and over again. And I thought it turned out really, really cool. You can see the, the wood crawling out of it and it's blowing out of the fog. Oh, I think it looks so sick. Alrighty, dudes, listen. We're almost ready for the building stage. The canvas is done, like I said. Walls looking wicked. Fog looking wicked. Uh, what we're going to be doing here... We're going to be getting a bunch of builds on the side of the walls here. Pulleys, uh, maybe even some more terrain coming out of the fog, whatever else. It's going to be super, super dope. Uh, uh, we're going to have a big structure over here. We're going to re-terraform this area right here. We have some room over here as well for some, some more builds. Here you guys got to see what we're going to be doing here. We're going to start with terraforming this a little bit and then maybe planning where some builds are going to go a little bit. And we get started on this. We're now in the building phase, boys, and I'm super excited. Minecraft, that's what I was saying right now. 
that's his father, dude. <laughs> Yo! Holy, dude, holy! Oh my days! I'm so stunned. I'm actually so stunned. I'm actually so stunned. Okay, Spooky, that's messed up. Name tag? Yeah, we're gonna name tag him, don't worry. Okay. Cake Master. If you know, you know. Uh, come here. Oh my god. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. What? I'm. Bro, I'm stunned. N not a day in my. Bro, I've gotten diamond armored, like, mobs before, but, like,. I've ne that's never happened to me in like, like this is this this is right in front of me like, and it's a zombie villager, bro. What are the chances of that? Uh, nah, nah, brother. Actually, true. On day, on day. 16,769. Don't you let us see it. What in the world, dude? Hello? Not even enchanted? Okay, dude. Okay, okay. What is this? 0.04% uh, chance, according to Google. Bro. Bro. We're going to move this guy tomorrow. Um, like I said yesterday, we didn't even get to finish this build yesterday, but we got a lot of progress yesterday, and we've been building the vibe and building and getting a lot of progress on the serene. And then as we were doing that, we stumbled upon this guy in here. Um, so we're gonna move this guy safely. Make sure he doesn't actually fall into the ravine. Get him in a nice little cage. Present him nicely. That's gonna be the goal here. Uh, so let's see if we can do that. Hypothetically. This is where he'll be. It's the hypothetical forever home. Um, you, think, you guys think he'll be safe? Surely he'll be safe. Okay, first step. I'm very, very nervous for this row. I hope this goes well. I really, really hope this goes well. I can drop off the edge and die and fall. Nah. We're covering it up completely, so there's no way he can jump off. It's gonna be like an actual tube. He's not going off the sides. There's no way. One wide staircase down. Oh my god. Nah, not. No, dude, this is ultra rare, bro. The diamond armor, anything is obviously rare, but to diamond armor, zombie villager. Like, that's actually ridiculous. Oh, that's actually five head. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Because we'll go like, we'll go like this, right? You won't be able to come through, but I'll be able to walk through. Oh, my God. That's so smart. Okay. Should be good to go, yeah? All right. Let's see how this goes. All right, to review what we're about to do here, we got the zombie villager. We got to take him all the way through here, and we got to bring him to this tube all the way into the cage, and then we're going to close it off on both sides. So it sounds simple enough. Should be fine. Hopefully, it just goes smoothly. We'll see how it goes. Should be fine, we should be fine. It's going smoothly so far, chat. Oh no, no. Person in these hallways, it's, it's dark and gloomy in here, dude. Oh no. This way. It's 
scary. Remove all this mess now, dude. There he is, though, dudes. Chilling, man. You done did it true. Oh, my days. After we clean this up, we can get back to building, dude. Now we gotta bring it back uh, 7,000 blocks, champ. Oh! Chat, it's time. While working on this project, uh, I've been absolutely loving it. It's turned out to be both one of my favorite builds. Uh, but because I've been working on this project very, very hard, a lot of days have passed, and we are about to hit 17,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. After we get this milestone, though, we gotta get straight back to business, but. seventeen thousand days in hardcore minecraft
There we go. The build is done, chat. You got Dana in here. We have Dana's dogs chilling and vibing. The build is done. It's finished. It took us about a month, month and a half ish to do this build. We got the interior of all, uh, we got an interior for every build in here. Uh, we even did an elevator, dudes. Let me, let me bring the elevator up real quick. We did an elevator. Things posted up. Got an elevator going, dude. Isn't that wicked? I think Swans is in the same pose. Yeah, the build is done. It is absolutely done, dude. Take a look at it. Take a look at this. The the ship up there, bro. Then it's manor. The inside of the ravine. Absolutely sick. So so happy with it, man. So so happy. Let's walk in through here. Ignore. We're not going to talk about the mess of the, the chest right now. That's a later me problem. Okay. We're, we're not we're not talking about that again. No, not again. Okay. But walking through over the bridge and seeing the ship and this build and seeing the ravine on the side and stuff. And seeing all the minecarts moving and everything. I love this build.